Welcome to the Vikings Now. I'm your host, Patrick Seatman. We got some big time news today heading our way from our Minnesota Vikings as Garrett Bradbury. Welcome back to 56, our first round center that we took a couple years ago. He's returning to the Minnesota Vikings, so I'll be diving into that, the contract details, and how it works out for the Vikes because it's a very team, team friendly deal. And then also, Kirk Cousins, he restructured his contract. When I originally got that notifi notification, I was like, oh my God, are they about to extend him to a three, four year extension and just trying to keep on pushing this money back? No, it's not really looking like that, but I'll dive into all that and more on today's video. But let's start off with the Garrett Bradbury news. Ian Rapport, he's the one that broke the contract details for us. He said he is coming back on a three-year deal for $15.57 million. And originally, Garrett Bradbury, when we were kind of doing our free agency projections, this is kind of going over our top free agents for the Vikes, Bradbury was supposed to get around 10 to $11 million. So I think him taking this discount is a good time, good time move for the Vikings, and I do like this move a lot. I think this was just something that needed to get done. I mean, we saw the offensive line and how they struggled without Garrett Bradbury when he was hurt last season, and now with the Vikings kind of having that uncertainty at the center position, I know there's talks about maybe Austin Schlotman coming back. I would not want that, especially he's coming off a fibula injury and then you know, he plus he just wasn't too good when he was in there. But I like this move. I think Garrett Bradbury, he's a very good piece, and it's somebody who Kirk Cousins is familiar with. I mean, that center quarterback continuity is huge. I mean, and Garrett Bradbury, he's been Kirk Cousins' center his entire time in Minnesota. Bradbury stayed fairly healthy besides last season during his NFL career. But this is a solid move, and I think it really solidifies this Vikings offensive line. It makes me feel a lot better about it heading into next season. We're taking a look right now at the Vikings offensive line depth chart. Garrett, Garrett Bradbury now slated in there at that center position. Christian Darisaw, we know who he is and what he is all about. He's going to be the franchise left tackle in Minnesota for years to come. Ezra Cleveland, he's got that kind of roller coaster type of games where he has a great game and then he has a not so great game. And then Ed Ingram, the right tackle, he was very hit or miss last year in his rookie year, but he's a second rounder out of LSU. I'm excited to see what he has just on the potential standpoint. And then Brian O'Neill, another great tackle for the Minnesota Vikings. He's been fantastic in his NFL career so far. But Garrett Bradbury, he's back. Honestly, the five guys you see on your screen right now, I expect that to be the five starting linemen for the Minnesota Vikings heading into week one of the 2023 NFL season. But I do want to get you guys' opinions on this. Are you happy that Garrett Bradbury's back? I'm going to make this the pinned comment on today's video because I am just barely curious to see what you guys have to say. I know Garrett Bradbury, he's a pretty polarizing name amongst uh, Vikings fans. You know, some people love the way he's bounced back this year, and some people still aren't really too happy with him because he was that first-round pick. So if you get hit with a YouTube ad break right now, take advantage of it, let it play, go down to the comments, and give me a Y for yes if you are happy if Bradbury's back, and if you're not happy, give me an N for no. So then another big piece of Vikings news was broke by Ben Gosling earlier today. The Vikings salary cap conversion with Kirk Cousins saved $16 million on their 2023 cap. Like I said at the beginning of this video, when I got this notification on my phone at first, I was thinking, oh, wow, the Minnesota Vikings are going to extend Kirk Cousins, maybe for a three to four year deal, but it's not. And I think this deal works out for three reasons, which I'll go over with you guys right now. Why it works, the current contract situation doesn't change. Kirk is still going to play out this one year deal. It just lowers his cap hit by $16 million. Yes, a little scary. You take all that dead money, you push it back in the 2024, 2025, when hypothetically Kirk could possibly not be on your roster and you're going to need to pay him. It's not the best kind of, it's not the best situation to be in, but the Vikings are very cap rich in both of those years. They don't really have too many big names kind of tied up in those areas. So I don't really mind it because especially right here, that third note you see up on your screen right now, it frees up cap for more moves in 2023. We struck out on Cam Sutton yesterday. He went to the Detroit Lions. I still expect the Vikings to go get a new or go get a corner, whether it's in the draft or whether it's anywhere else. I mean, whether it's free agency or maybe they have another guy step up in the building. But I do like this move from Kirk Cousins. I think this was a 
I want to win right now, and I want to win in Minnesota, and I want to prove to you guys that I can be the guy that gets the Vikings over the hump, and he's doing that. He wants the best players around him, so that's why he did restructure his contract. But I do think, I do think this is going to be Kirk's last year in Minnesota. Obviously, if he goes out there and he has a phenomenal year, and let's just say the Vikings win 13 games again, and they win maybe one or two playoff games this year, then maybe Kirk could return. But I was on the phone with my dad yesterday, and we were just kind of discussing the current Vikings situation with Kirk Cousins. And we saw the Jimmy Garoppolo deal that he signed with the Las Vegas Raiders, the three-year deal at 22 and a half per year. And we both kind of just said to ourselves, why wouldn't Kirk Cousins make a move like that? You know, if you think about Kirk Cousins, he's came out and said all this time that he wants the Vikings or he wants to raise his family and be the guy in Minnesota for years to come. And his family loves it. His kids love Minnesota. His wife loves Minnesota. And instead of maybe demanding the Vikings give you that 35 to 40 million that we see guys like Geno Smith, Daniel Jones, and even Derek Carr get that during this already this free agency period in the NFL, why wouldn't Kirk Cousins just say, this was my contract that I threw out there, a four-year, $100 million deal, every penny's guaranteed. Four years, $100 million, fully guaranteed. It's $25 million a year. I think the Vikings would love that. Then also, Kirk Cousins, just take the little Tom Brady route and say, I care about winning. I want my legacy to be made in Minnesota. Because right now, Kirk Cousins' legacy in the NFL is he's made a lot of money and hasn't won a lot of playoff games. That could completely flip it on its script. He's 34 years old. I'm assuming he's going to want to make that push for a Super Bowl. I mean, I'm sure he already has, but he's going to have to do more than that to make that push to the Super Bowl. And maybe that is lowering his cap pit for years to come. And I think that four-year, $100 million deal, that's the only way I would bring back Kirk Cousins following this season. But I do think, realistically, I think this is Kirk's last year in Minnesota. So I want to ask you guys this. This was a very general question. You know, normally I ask you guys yes or no, but I just want to know your thoughts on Kirk Cousins. How do you feel about the Vikings quarterback? You could write me a paragraph in the comments, or you could just give me a one-word reaction. This is really just up to you guys. I want to know your guys' thoughts on Kirk Cousins. Do you think he is underrated, overrated? Do you think he's over-scrutinized? Do you even maybe think he's under-scrutinized? Just give me your thoughts on Kirk Cousins, because, again, you talk about polarizing names amongst Vikings media members. It's Kirk Cousins. Everybody's got a thought on him. Everybody's got a take on our man, Kirk. I want to know what you guys have to say. Get down in the comments and let me know. So two big news pieces that kind of hit today. Obviously, Garrett Bradbury re-signing for only about $5 million a year. Shout out to Quasi Adolfo Mensa getting your center back. Really solidifies that offensive line. You know, now you don't need to go look for a center in the draft. You don't need to look for a center in free agency. Center's locked up. You got your two tackles. Now let's figure out the guards. Hopefully, Ezra Cleveland. Hopefully, Ed Ingram. They both pan out well. And then other big news today, Kirk Cousins restructures his contract, frees up a ton of cap space, $16 million for this year, and I wonder what the Vikings are going to do. Could they go get another guy in free agency? Could they add on to another piece to the defensive unit? Could they add on to already the Marcus Davenport signing? Who knows? Make sure you guys are subscribed. Stay in the loop. We'll keep you posted all year long, all offseason, especially when the draft comes here. You're going to want to stay tuned because, hey, the Vikings, they got five picks. They're going to be making a lot of moves. That 23rd overall pick in the 2023 NFL draft, I think it could go many different ways. I really do. I think they could go corner. I think maybe even if a linebacker they like is there at 23, they could go that. But two huge news pieces for you guys today. Garrett Bradbury's back and Kirk Cousins restructures his contract.